Good morning, friends. How's it going? Well, I'm not sure what that is all about. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, hey, gang. How's it going? Happy, uh, happy Monday morning. Monday morning? What am I doing on Monday morning? I've got my calendar all mixed up, and I slept so soundly last night that uh, apparently my body thinks it's, it's Wednesday. But it's not. It's Monday morning. Glad to be here. Uh, actually, I get the privilege of, uh, of being with you this morning. Um, uh, Pastor Chris and I are swapping uh, days this week, and so uh, that worked out great. So, uh, yeah. Hey, how are you? Happy, uh, happy Wednesday morning, uh, October the 19th. How did it get to be October the 19th? Go figure. Well, hey, it's great to see you. Uh, hello, uh, um, uh, all of you. My goodness, look, they're they're coming in here. We opened the floodgates, and here they come. Good morning, Candy. How are you this morning? Happy uh, happy Monday to you. Mary Ann, good morning. I miss seeing your face. Love you. Hope you guys are doing, uh, hope you're all doing well. Don, good morning. Annie, God bless you. Great, uh, great seeing you on here this morning. This is always fun. So what's new? Anything exciting going on this week? Uh, put it in the comments. Let, oh yeah, hey, that's you. You got it, Annie. It's a, it's going to be a golden day. Absolutely. Good morning, Johnny. How are you this morning? Hope you and Kenny are doing good. Pray for you a lot. Think about you a lot. Uh, some good, uh, some good days we've had together for sure. Well, Shirley, good morning. How are you this morning? Thanks for all you do around this place. You're a real blessing and have been a blessing to me for a long time. Yeah, this is fun. Tiffany, good morning. Get to work. What are you doing? They're all lined up for crying out loud. Oh, God bless you. Hope you have a great day. Well, so let's see. I don't know what the forecast is supposed to be uh, for today. It's a little overcast. Even as I was uh, driving in uh, this morning, it looked like it was a uh, good morning crew. God bless you, brother. Uh, staycation. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, mom, how are you? Good morning. I'm being good. I yeah. Okay. Hey, so yeah, I don't know what the forecast is supposed to be. When I came in this morning, it was a little uh, on the uh, uh, overcast. I mean, uh, in, in fact, even in the rear view window, uh, rear view mirror, it looked like behind me up north, it was uh, a little dark, like uh, there could be some rainage coming our way. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Good morning, Dad. How are you? Why are you not working today? Shouldn't you be out on the, shouldn't you be out on a tee box uh, this time of the morning. Good night. If it's nine o'clock here, what is it? Uh, 10 o'clock there for you for crying out loud. You should be doing something. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, so anyway, um, let's see all kinds of, uh, all kinds of good morning. Gene Lyon. How are you this morning? Doug and Barb and Mary. God bless you. Good morning. Uh, glad to, glad to see you here this morning as well. Rebecca, I hope you're doing good. God bless you. Hope your, hope your folks are doing well. I see your dad from time to time. Good morning, Val. How are you this morning? Uh, I did wish your husband a happy birthday the other day. It's raining in Florida. Imagine that. I know it does it daily, but uh, uh, I, I'll bet it'll clear up, Dad. Don't panic. Gray skies are going to clear up. Put on a happy face. <laughs> Oh, I gotta get, I've got to get a life. This is why typically preachers take off on Monday, because on Sunday, their brains are so scrambled. Now, did I say anything out of line yesterday? No. But uh, probably probably not a bad idea to, uh, to have taken a day off. But so, so who knows what's coming in this, uh, in this devotion this morning. But hey, oh my goodness, it's 9.01. Let's get started. You want to? Um, let's see here. Uh, believe it or not, uh, if you don't mind, from Romans chapter 6, which we started yesterday, we ended at verse 14 yesterday, so obviously this week we begin with verse 15, but just as a little teaser, it's, it's kind of an appetizer, it's kind of the movie trailer, okay? Highlights of things to come. Romans chapter 6, verse 16, this is what it says, do you not know that to whom you present yourselves slaves to obey, you are that one's slaves whom you obey, whether of sin leading to death or of obedience leading to righteousness. As the apostle goes deeper into this whole concept of who are you serving and who do you obey, he really does put a focus and an emphasis not on what you have done, but on what you're doing. 
on what you're doing. A.W. Tozer once said, The will is the seat of true religion in the soul. Who do you really worship? Who is really on the throne of your life? Your will begins to reveal that. My mom sent me a, uh, a great text uh, based on yesterday's sermon, uh, and she didn't know I was going here uh, with, uh, with the text this morning. But it's, it's, uh, uh, she, she directed me to the Fire Bible. Great, uh, great study Bible, by the way. Uh, the Fire Bible is a great study Bible. has some great, uh, great footnotes. And, and specifically for Romans chapter 6, verse 15, let me read to you from the Fire Bible what it says. Some within the church in Paul's day thought that since God's grace pardons and forgives sin, a Christian does not need to be as careful to resist sin. In answer to this, Paul explains that every believer must continually reaffirm and show his or her decision to resist sin and follow Christ. After accepting Christ, we must continue to choose whom we will serve. If we return to sin and stop resisting its influence and control in our personal lives, we will once again become slaves to sin with death, spiritual and eternal as the result. Those are, those are simply the footnotes or study notes or commentary from the Fire Bible on the passage that we've been, that we've been talking about. Just an interesting text that, that who we serve, who really is the Lord of our life, becomes evident in the decisions that we make and in the way that we live our lives. And when we choose to habitually live in sin, it's a fair question to ask, is Christ really the Lord? Of your life. Uh, one story that I told last night uh, in the uh, what was what amounts to the third service, you know, the on, on Sunday night at, at six o'clock uh, is uh, is just a third service from Sunday morning. So uh, for the last uh, the last uh, couple of months, uh, with the COVID outbreak and even with rising numbers in our community, uh, we've made the third service uh, a Sunday night service. Uh, just as another option for families and a, a great time. But I, I shared the story last night, just an anecdote. Uh, uh, the, uh, the young Indian brave went to the old chief and uh, was concerned about this dream that he continued to have where there was a civil war going on where one side was, fight, uh, was fighting the other side. And uh, in this dream, the young Indian brave said to the chief, I feel like these two sides represent me. And in my dream, every night, the white wolf is battling with the gray wolf. And as these two wolves are continually fighting, it's almost like the pure part of who I long to be is battling with the impurity of, of who I seem to be. How do I get the fighting to stop? How do I get, how do I get this to, uh, to, to, to stop? And, and the old chief simply said, Whichever one of these two you stop feeding will die. The one that you stop feeding will die. So in the Civil War going on in your life regarding a battle for sin, who you long to be versus actions which, which really begin to reveal uh, not obedience to Christ but slaves to sin, who do you long to be? The one that you stop feeding will die. Romans chapter 6, verse 16 this morning. Let me pray for you. Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for a fresh new opportunity. Thank you that for those who are in Christ, we are a new creation. Old things have passed away, and behold, all things become new. And we pray that even today, by the power of your Holy Spirit, we might walk and live as new beings, no longer slaves to sin, but joining in the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, experiencing your presence not simply in heaven, but the foretaste that you promised by your Spirit that we would know your presence and your peace even today. I pray that for my friends who are gathering. Pray your blessing on them. Pray your protection over them today. Go with us and use us. Thank you for your presence, Lord. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Well, there you go. Listen, check out graceontheweb.org for all of the activities and events that are going on in the life of the church today. So glad you were here. Uh, a real devotion with Pastor Chris coming Wednesday. That's going to be a dandy. And uh, hey, listen, I want to remind you, we're going to be okay. Christ is still on the throne. Love you. God bless.